Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam and this is the Crafty Blinder van build. In today's video, we're upgrading the cab. We're ripping out the old radio and replacing it with one with a sat nav and adding a couple of USB charging points. Oh, nice surprise today. I've just got back and the radio that's going to replace the existing one that's in that has arrived. It's not just a radio, it's audio, video, internet and navigation all built into one. I can't believe <laughs> they've just posted the box like that. You know, my address is under there. They've just stuck a sticker on the box and posted it. But right, it's arrived. Let's get it installed. So let's get started on this centre. I've got a tool with a thin edge. Find a corner. Push it into the back and just lever it out. Now, you then just go down the side working it off. I'll leave that in there, get another tool and just go along the top, pop them out. Come down the side, there you go, my panel's now loose. Now I've had this out already this morning and what you've got there is there is an electrical connection for the controls on the bottom. I left that disconnected. So you would have a screw in there. Torx 20 and a Torx 20 there, same there, same there. Grab this panel, just ease it out. It's got a couple of clips that just hold it in place after. There you go, one there and one on the other side. To remove the speaker panel, this is quite an awkward one but once you know how to get into it it's quite easy so just going at the corner flick over a bit awkward to film this but i'll try and do it the best i can get my fingers and thumbs out of the way so in the corner there like that underneath up to the top give it a little twist and then push it right into the bottom give it a twist again be careful though you've got a little tweet in there so you don't want to you don't want to damage that so that releases that section there which holds this panel in so now we can give that panel a yank so a hook tool in the end and just pull it like dead quick I'll show you again hook it in and give it a pull away to the right and that's it free just wiggle it and out it comes so that reveals the screw here and this will allow you to take this panel out you got one there as well and another one there now for the purpose of this video i've left some screws out just to make it easy to demonstrate so in there you'd have one screw and this is where you would take it out there's your glove box just get hold of this Give it a wiggle try not to drop it and the same with this screw there and a screw there and just wiggle this panel out and it is that simple and that exposes the work that we've been doing so i need to tie these cables down put a little support to go on there and then that'll do me so to remove this panel screw there screw there pull it this way and off it comes it locks in behind there there's no need to do anything with your glove box unless you want underneath there there's no need to remove that so today i'm not taking that out but there's three screws there you push this tab up here and this one here and then that exposes another few screws along the bottom remove them and all that comes out and behind there is your fan to put it all back together you just push it up and you'll you heard that click and that will be back in well this morning i'm going to tidy up a couple of cables around the back of here that are quite long and shortening and this is my av from reverse cameras i may incorporate them into the new radio and do away with the reverse mirror but I like a reverse mirror so 
I'm split. <laughs> I don't know whether to leave it up there. Decisions, decisions. So as you can see, sorry about the glare on the camera. You, that's the dashboard stripped out as far as I need today to do the work that I want to do. thing about the dashboard is no Torx 20s so there's no special screws to go anywhere there's no long ones there's no well not that I've found they're all the same size so you can throw them all in a pot so just pick them out as you need them now let's have a little look at this one right take that off So this is held in by a bit of a, a clamp so that locates so to release it you just pull it back and pull out and that releases the radio makes these a little bit easier to remove now I think right so that's a radio out with a black connector that went on there Purple that went on there. Nothing to it, is there? And to be honest with you, the new one, there isn't a lot to that. I'll just pop that over there. I'm not fully installing it at the minute. What we're going to do is we're going to offer it up. So, like anything, take care removing it from the packaging. if it doesn't fit we may have to send it back well that's a good start all the screws line up hang on Dexter son there you go that's it so again i just pop my cable out of the way let's see how it looks so this panel here Clicks it at the bottom first, I would say. And how does that look? <laughs> I'm happy with that. That's a real good fit. Wasn't sure. Um, the guys who were selling it wasn't sure if it would fit. <laughs> and they sent me the dimensions, I measured them. And then took a took a gamble. Well, I think that's definitely an improvement on on this. Definitely an improvement. So we'll carry on, and we'll fit that today. We're also going to fit a couple of USB points in the vehicle. Um, we have a cigarette lighter down here, and I'll be honest with you, that will never get used. Never ever get used. Below that, you have a 25 amp 12 volt as well. So if we do need to use anything, we'll be using that outlet. We have a 12 volt kettle, and that's probably the only thing we'll use. This is the point where most people want to give up. Um, it is a little bit daunting, I'll, I'll agree with you. You've got your old loom out, you put your new one in, and things don't match up. So... <clears throat> Let me go through what we've done. This is one of the looms that come with uh, come with the kit, and this is the best one to suit what I want to do. I've also installed the canvas decoder and made the connections there. That powers the canvas decoder. This is the connection that we'll do to the radio once we've done everything else. We've pulled in the GPS um, antenna that's up there. I've run it down the pillar and under the back of the dash, and pops out here. That's no problem at all. We've put the adapter for the radio into the cable, just slots in, clips in, that's it done. However, we have these cables. 
and these cables aren't connected. Um, unfortunately, this kit doesn't provide anything to go with these. So I'll explain what this is. This is a four pin and it runs from the back of the radio to this USB here. Um, I'm not sure. I think they do it on Mercedes, BMWs, quite a few vehicles. This I used all the time. Um, I found a cable adapter on the internet. It's called a four pin USB male head um, adapter cable. So I've ordered one of them. It's come from China. So we'll see it in a few weeks. This, however, this side, this cable here, is the auxiliary input, which I'll be honest with you, is that one there. I don't really use it a lot, and it comes into the back. Um, I don't think I've ever used it, in all honesty, so I'm not really too fussed about that. I am, however, worried that the quality of the mic in the radio that we're installing, because it is a tiny little mic there, will not be as good as the one that's fitted here up in the head unit. That is a really good mic. It was I could hold conversations at 70 mile an hour on the motorway and nobody knew that was hands-free. So I would like to utilise this cable. Um, so I need to find some way of addressing that. Now there is a couple of cables come with the kit. This will allow me to take adapt this into the back of the radio and this one here has a mic in so what I'm going to do is have a little look at the end of this and see if I can adapt it or adapt this end to fit this by pulling the cable out and putting a, a, a jack plug on it to plug into there so we'll have a little look at that now not now, we'll have a look a little, little look on the internet later for something to convert that. I want to get the radio in now. I want to power it up and see see what it looks like. So we'll set you up somewhere else and we'll get cracked on. Obviously this won't come for a couple of weeks. Um this one here I can always come back and revisit. But I'm I'm just a bit miffed at the kit. It doesn't cover that. I might be wrong. This might be this radio might be brilliant, the mic in that might be excellent, but we'll uh, we'll see. Bit gutted about not being able to use that. As you can see, I have my charger there, I charge off it all the time. I did think about just ripping it out and putting a USB in, because my phone will connect to the system without, without, um, without a wired connection. I can just pop the, uh, I might even do that to be honest. I might just install a, a USB further back. Um, there's plenty of room there, there's plenty of scope to do it. I might just do that and do away with this lot of here. But I'm just a bit peed off that it doesn't work. Anyway, let's get on. Change of plan. The cable that come with the radio that had the USB input on. I've taken it and I've got the old, this is the existing USB and auxiliary connection, which I didn't use, so all I wanted was a USB really, so I've managed to graft, I know it's a bit of a botch, <laughs> but I've managed to glue in the USB and I'm going to install that. It's solid as a rock, doesn't move and should do the trick. So, yeah, a bit of, bit of glue, pushed it into position, glued it and held it there. So, that's us. Let's get it put in. Let's get this radio fired up and see how it behaves. So, these are the old USB connections. That's that one. Take the end off it. There's the end. That just fits into there. It's no longer required because <laughs> it goes nowhere. So I'll disconnect that part and um, we'll reroute these cables out of arm's way, pop them down there, that's no longer required, 
I'll do the same with that and feed through my new my new USB which will connect it to the radio in fine we'll see how it works when we get it all stored away right for the mic I'm actually gonna use I don't know where I've put it this input cable comes with a with a jack I know I wanted to use this mic because it was better quality. I've just gone on the internet and I've ordered a mic that will sit just here. So I'll run that round and probably remove this mic off here and put the new mic in that position so when it's up there it'll work. It'll work just as good. So we've got everything we need. Um, I will have to take the radio back out at some point. Just to connect this jack up. The jack's coming tomorrow all days. But it's you seen how quickly it was I could do that. So I'm not really bothered. I'm gonna connect it up, have it in situ, connect this cable up, have that in situ, and then I'll just be ready to go when the time is right. Now, which one of these goes where? Yeah. Yeah, that one's there. This one, just two to the left of that. This cable is no longer required, so we can hide that. Let's just lay all these out the way. They can sit down there now, out the way. The canvas bypass can sit in there. What I'm going to do tomorrow is the bigger items, um, they could vibrate. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is when I've got everything back out, I'm going to put some sound, rubber sound deadening around them. And that should stop them vibrating. So that is GPS connected now. This is the FM antenna connected. Um, so that's the cable I want tomorrow. Just slip all them down there. And this is the main connection done. Right. It took me a little while to get to here, but we're at the point where I wanted to be. <laughs> I'd like to be done a bit quicker, but it is what it is. Take the time now and don't make the mistakes. Think things through and I'll save time later. Right, four screws. What I do is I put all the screws in first and then well that's the first one I've dropped. I'll tell you what, let's pop this back up out the way as well. Right. 
let's just give everything a little nip now. as we start from the bottom. Well that does look good doesn't it? <laughs> that looks real good. Oh yeah I like that. <laughs> A nice lolly. Mm. Look at the radio. It's having a party. <laughs> Android. Android is starting. You want ice cream, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right. Don't get in my face. That's camera for trying to pick on you, Dad. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Right, let's get you an ice cream. Uh, are you waiting there? upgrading the radio I've also put in an additional USB point there and 
we've popped one up the top there also that'll run the um, dash cam and anything else we need to charge while we're on the move also I've moved the control for the night heater um, just from uh, a bit more convenient I think so happy with that as well so it's starting to come together in here everything's starting to fall into place let's quickly run through the functions that we've got now the main reason one of the main reasons for buying this radio and header unit was for this it's a really good system um, I've read a few reviews on it and it was all coming back positive now for me to convert the original unit to um, to have a sat nav system built into it it would just it would just kind of cost me way too much money now have a look at this so obviously this is the UK and it's pretty good just balance it up a little bit but let's just drop into let's see let's just go to Barcelona shall we oh. let's zoom in on Barcelona oh where have we lost you give you a chance to load up So not only do you get Great Britain and Ireland, you're going to get the best part of Europe as well. And I haven't paid anything for this. So there we are, right down on the dock and the marina. And I'm, I'm really happy with that. Let's go back to menu. Radio. So we didn't go for the DAB um, kit because um, I didn't realise you needed to order that separate. I may stick the DAB module in at a later date, but for now we've just gone with with uh, with digital. So we've put a couple of channels in there, just local, classic, just to show that we can store channels in there. The next one, now this is the other main reason we bought it. We carry all our music on USBs and we like to take it with us. So when we're in the van, we can pick... Um, whatever we want to listen to and we're not limited to just carrying a few CDs or uh, anything else so we've got a you god what did I do that for let's quickly open it back up press the wrong button so we'll go on there and what we'll do is we'll go to the top we'll close this file down there's rudimental so these are the albums that we've got with us at the minute if we want to pick <laughs> anything so there you go we've got all these and we'll probably add a few more to that over the next couple of days back to my menu again bluetooth you can hook up um, multiple phones to it i believe i've got mine connected to it at the minute and we use that for making calls Videos, now you can play videos over this and the quality is really, really good. You've got a little flash of it there, but it's just going to run through. Look at that quality, it's brilliant. I'm very impressed with that. Don't know what carving up duck has to do with selling radios, but they believed it was a nice video to show. Car settings, now in the car settings you can reconfigure everything down to the steering wheel control. So it does interact with that. We've got a canvas uh, bypass in it as well, and it lets you uh, pin, like pick all of these, allocate all of these. Then we go into the apps, and we haven't added too many to this, but um, I'll just show you what we've got in there. We've got Chrome, we've got Google, we've got the gallery, so we can look at our photos if we've got a, a few minutes. We've also got a file manager there. Um, YouTube, Google Maps, and voice search. So we just then you go into your widgets. Now I don't really bother with the widgets. I uh, there's a good one for you. Share your location. But anyway, for us, this is the one that gets used quite a lot. If we're stuck in traffic, and we're waiting in a queue, or waiting for Lisa, <laughs> we can sit and watch YouTube, and it. This is Riley's favourite part, I think, about the, the van. The 
поцелуев. And there's last week's video. Look at that, we're slowly cre creeping up there. I love that picture, it's from Shell Island. Absolutely love it. So let's go back to videos. Oh yeah, we've got a community page now and um, <laughs> when I get round to it, I'm gonna start posting on it. Um, this is actually, I can use this on my computer, I just can't use it anywhere else, but anyway, just drop out of that. We will start using the community page to notify you of stuff and it's all new to me, so I'm just bearing with it. So there's all the suspension upgrade videos and there's the notchback delivery video. Of course, I tapped it, so it's going to have to play now. So, we can have the volume up on this, can't we? Hi, Mrs. and Sam. I'm Sam, and this is the Crafty Blinder Bamboo. <laughs> Still not got used to listening to myself on the on the YouTube, but uh, it's weird. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Not every day is a bamboo day. I wonder if that works. Ago, my mate Andrew asked me to um, yeah. take delivery of something rather special for him. You may remember Andrew from the video where we're installing these windows and his car caught fire. Yeah, it's not working. So, insurance has paid yeah, out. Work. Um, and he went out and replaced it with something quite special. And this is a video of that vehicle being delivered. Hope you enjoy it. Let us know what you think. It's amazing how the internet has changed the world. Right, let's get off that. This is why I chose this radio, um, this header unit, this system. Works brilliantly for us, we love it. Um, and in all honesty, um, it's, it's worked perfect. The install was so straightforward. You know, I, I, like most people, I panicked. I thought, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. There were so many different selections of cables we just i didn't know how easy it was going to be and hopefully that's picked up in the video but yeah this bit of kit gets a big thumbs, thumbs up from me thank you for your continued support if you like what we're doing consider subscribing liking and sharing with your friends also you can follow us on facebook and instagram Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.